Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jerry Travis Smith with you from Jerry.Education. And today I'm going to teach you about zip files. What exactly is a zip file? Well, in computing, it's basically a type of file that can contain inside of it multiple files and folders, and it turns those multiple files and folders into a single file. This is handy in case you're going to be sending something through email or across the internet because it makes all the individual files smaller, at least while they're being transferred. And it also allows you to take a whole folder and send it as one file in an email attachment. And some email services do not allow you to drag a whole folder uh, into the attachment area. Instead, you would have to send the files one at a time. And that can be a royal pain if you have many, many files. So here's how you create a zip file, and it's worked the same way since Windows XP. I'm actually on Windows 10, but you will see very little, if any, difference. So if I wanted to just do these three loose files, I can highlight them. And you right-click on the highlighted files and go to Send To and Compressed Zipped Folder. And you see we have a resulting file, a new file right here, that looks like a folder with a little zipper on it. And it takes on a file name of one of the things that you selected. So I'm just going to rename this right now before we even do anything with it. My zipped files. And remember, this zip file occupies less space on the hard disk than these three original files. Okay, so that's an added bonus. Zip files are inherently smaller than their parts because of compression. So you can also take a whole folder full of stuff, and you can see here I've got this folder full of recipes. So I can right click on this folder and go to Send to Compressed Zipped Folder. Voila. And since it was a single folder, it just took on the same file name as the folder itself. Don't worry, Windows knows this is a different file than the original folder. And you can even tell because, again, you have a folder and a little zipper. And you can even take all of your files here, or even all the zip files. You can put zip files inside of zip files. It's a really trippy thing. But we can make one big master file by right-clicking and going to Send to Compressed Zipped Folder. And I'm just going to call this My Huge Master File, even though it's not that big at all. And there you go. And whenever somebody receives a zip file from you, say an email, and they download it, if they're on any version of Windows since XP, uh, if they just double click, for example, on this recipes zip folder, you can see that that folder's in there. And um, on Windows 8 and 10, you actually can tell you're looking at a zip file real easy because you end up with this special ribbon up here. So I can go extract and extract all. Or in uh, Windows XP, I think there's something up there that just says extract all files. And they click on that and tell the computer where they want the extracted files to go and it turns it back into the same thing you used whenever you created the file. See my zipped files has these three loose files in it. But that's all there is to creating zip files. It's a really handy thing to know in case you need to email a bunch of stuff and you don't want to sit there attaching files individually and you get the added bonus of it taking up less space if you're using it for archival purposes. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to get notifications when I upload more content, click the subscribe button. And also, you can head over to jerry.education to see all of my videos and teaching aids that I've put up there. Thanks and have a great day.